We're now moving on to the next section in this Space Planning for AutoCAD course. And the first thing we're going to consider are our title blocks. Now you'll notice I have the title blocks complete drawing open. If you want to follow along with the video, you need to open up titleblocks.dwg from your working files. Now, when you're working in space planning, something that I always do, and I always recommend as a CAD standard, is you have one floor of a building per drawing. You never ever combine like this, so you never normally use first floor and ground floor on the same drawing. The reason being is we're going to be going into XREF territory, external reference file territory, later on as we set up further. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to work with the ground floor only. Now you'll notice down here I've got an A1 sheet size ground floor tab. And as you can see, it's looking at the ground floor there in the viewport. Now, setting up viewports is fairly easy, and if you follow any of the other AutoCAD titles provided by Infinite Skills, you will know how to set up a viewport, but I'm going to show you anyway. So, we've got a viewport there looking at the ground floor at the moment. I'm going to go back to the Model tab. I'm actually physically going to delete all of this information here. Don't worry, it's in other drawings that are stored in the working files, but I'm going to remove all of that. So, if you get a drawing like this, and you're going to start space planning from it, you need to do it one floor per drawing. So you would take the information out here like so, and you'd probably copy it to another drawing. Now I don't need to do that because I've set up the working files for you in a way so that you've got all of these available already. So I'm just gonna delete that one there. I'll double click on the wheel to zoom extents. So now all we've got is the ground floor in the model tab. If I go back now to A1 ground floor tab here, I'll show you how to quickly set up the viewport and scale it, and then we're ready to go with our title block. Now, there is a pre-prepared title block. It's right here, it's all ready to go. If you double click on it, it will actually allow you to edit the information in the title block in the Enhanced Attribute Editor. So you can put your details in like Approve, Check, Draw and Revision, and so on. So that's all set up for you, but let's have a look at this viewport. I'm gonna to go to the Home tab on the ribbon, and make sure that I'm on my viewports layer, first of all. I'm then going to delete this viewport here and show you how to create your own viewport. Now the trick is, if I've only got one floor per drawing, I can actually occupy all of this sheet space with that one floor. So we'll set the viewport up to fill up this space here on the sheet. So I'm on the viewports layer. Now be careful when you're setting up your viewports. If you've got an older version of AutoCAD, you will find that this is slightly different to the way I'm going to set it up. I'm running AutoCAD 2014, the latest version of AutoCAD, but older versions of AutoCAD do require you to do this slightly differently. I go to the Layout tab here, and there's my Layout viewports there. If you're working with an older version of AutoCAD, you would go to the View tab and go to Viewports here. Notice these are model viewports for the model space in AutoCAD 2014. So I need to go to the Layout, Click on the down arrow and select rectangular. And using my snaps now, making sure that O snap is on at the bottom of the screen, on the status bar, I can click there, drag across, make sure I get the snap. Now you might need to pan up a bit, just to lose the command line there. And there we go. Viewport all set up and ready to go. If I double click in the viewport now, check the viewport scale. I've got 0 0.029392 there. Might get away with one to 50 if I click there. That fits perfectly, it gives me plenty of space to put information around the ground floor plan. So I double click outside the viewport and my title block is now ready to go for me to start space planning on the ground floor of this particular building. 